Shabbat Shalom. Have you ever had to rearrange all kinds of papers, books, and files from one place to another just to find a clear space on which to do your work? Or have you gone to bake a cake only to realize that you do not have flour, though you seem to have three boxes of baking soda? <laughs> this is how it feels to be in a messy, disorganized space. Often, we accrue clutter because we have delayed making decisions. We can't decide whether to toss out the flyer about the ballet or the offer of a new credit card because sometime in the future we may want to see that ballet or apply for that card. So, we often leave such missives lying around. Sometimes they remain in piles long after the opportunities they presented are gone like physical evidence of our unmade decisions. Being surrounded by clutter and chaos is not good for us. Studies have shown this kind of messy environment can induce physiological responses, including increasing levels of cortisol, a stress hormone. Each summer, I try to attack the piles of clutter in my office and at home. And I must admit, it feels good. Without a pile of papers blocking my collection of books, I'll notice an important volume I had always meant to read. The open, clean-looking space on my desk with nothing distracting me gives me an expansive feeling. Orderliness is actually a Jewish value. It is one of the character traits that we are urged to pursue within the Jewish practice of Musar. Musar is a practice in which we focus our attention inwards and ask ourselves if we are acting in ways that align with our deepest values. Being orderly is a character trait that has the potential to open the way to a more spiritually centered life. The rabbis teach that an orderly home can expand a person's heart. As we get rid of excess and make room for the things we care about, our living spaces become more functional and more personal. An uncluttered room gives us much more potential to have an uncluttered mind. Judaism teaches that there is a strong connection between the states of our external and internal worlds. Rabbi Menachem Mendel Leffen said, all of your actions and possessions should be orderly each and every one in a set place and at a set time. Let your thoughts always be free to deal with that which lies ahead of you. Decluttering can be a spiritual experience. Our calendar teaches this as well. During the high holy days, we undergo, undergo intensive spiritual cleansing. But this process needs to be continued just like the physical clutter that accumulates day by day, all year round, spiritual clutter also builds up. While the holidays give us a defined opportunity to take stock and clarify what's blocking us, the task is ongoing. Just as it is not enough to clean off our desks once a year, we must continually declutter both physically and spiritually. Our tradition offers us a number of different ways to approach building new habits and daily routines that help us to stay focused. The practice of meditation and prayer helps us to clear away the grime and garbage that can build up and encumber our minds. The practice of Musar invites us to focus on a specific character trait or midah each day as a mode of self-reflection and growth. This focus helps us to rid ourselves of unnecessary distractions as we concentrate on one midah at a time. Take the midah of orderliness. If you were to approach orderliness through the practice of Musar, you might read a text or a quote about orderliness that can inspire you and keep you focused throughout the day. The Hebrew month of Elul is right around the corner, marking the beginning believe it or not, of the high holiday season. To prepare, we have a tradition here at Stephen Wise Free Synagogue in which we offer Musar-based meditations on various character traits. These meditations help us focus on a specific aspect of our behavior 
as we strive to improve ourselves. If we devote ourselves to decluttering physically and spiritually now, we will be even more ready for the work of the High Holy Days, just as we need to declutter our spaces to make room for the work that comes with a new season. We need to declutter our minds so that our souls can be open. We transform the curse of clutter to the blessing of possibility. In this week's Torah portion, we read about Balak, the king of Moab. Balak asks a prophet named Balaam to curse the Israelites, fearing them after he sees them defeat various nations in battle. However, when Balaam comes up and he comes upon the Israelites camping, the Spirit of God comes upon him, inspiring him to remark, How goodly are your tents, O Jacob, your dwelling places, O Israel. Like the Israelites, we too can dwell in places of blessing. When we get rid of the clutter and surround ourselves with things that speak to our hearts, we develop the framework for a joyful and spiritually significant life. We create holy space so that we can have holy time. May it be so. Shabbat shalom.